Oh my god, okay, I got my camera. Well, one of my cameras. I actually don't like this camera. I genuinely hate using this camera. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. Hello to you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia, and I thought today that I would jump on here and tell you a little story. Just a typical story time. It's not okay to call someone a drug user. Drug abuse is a very serious thing. It's a real mental health condition and it affects thousands, if not millions, of people within this world. To go around calling someone who uses prescription medication as prescribed a drug user, it is insulting to those people who are actually struggling with drug addiction. So, as you know, I posted a video yesterday talking about cyberstalking and the leg up illegalities of it and the fact that I'm pressing charges against someone with it. Having an entire Twitter account dedicated to bringing down someone else's social media following. I think that constitutes a stalking and harassment. This video is about me being a drug addict. I mean, a, a drug addict. You know, fun. I'm gonna use it for clickbait. It's the idea. Um, um, so I'm gonna take my medication. As described, because you know, I'm a really hardcore drug user. So I've got some lorazepam. I take two of them at night because I <laughs> think I can sleep with the paranoia I have. Yeah. I wish. Yeah, and tablets. There are certain like, types of tablets that I like and some I don't. The circle ones do my head in. I hate them. I hate swallowing them. The Razapat have two of the one milligram tablets. Because you know, like I said, Clonazepam! Like one at night, a 0 0.5 milligram tablet of clonazepam. Okay. Night. No, it's totally okay to run around and calling people druggies. Next time I see someone injecting heroin, I'm gonna walk up to them and be like, you're a druggie, and you know, it'll be totally fine. Totally not illegal. So it's not hateful, it's not hurtful. Of course, that's Stephanie's attitude. I'm not actually gonna do that because that is freaking horrible. I myself have dealt with drug addiction in the past. I used to use cocaine. I, I'm very upfront, very honest about this. We all we all know this. I, I'm not gonna hide my past from you guys. Calling someone a drug user is offensive. Calling someone a druggie or that uh, they're addicted to drugs just because you disagree with the fact that they are prescribed their medication, that's you pushing your personal view on someone else. And to try and dictate and comment and say that it's wrong that I have these medications. That's so fucked up. I don't think you realise how screwed up that actually is. It'd be like me telling you not to take your epilepsy medications. I rely on the medications I take to get through a day because my mental health suffers if I don't. You take your epilepsy medication to prevent you having seizures. The difference is mine's for mental health, yours is for a physical condition, well neurological condition actually, but let's use neurological, just like to point that out, it's not physical. There's a huge difference. It's the same. I'm not going to tell you don't take your anti- epilepsy medications just like you shouldn't tell me that i am on the wrong medications i take them as they are written on the box i have never deviated from that apart from when i try to kill myself because you know when you have someone dictating every single little action you make it tends to have that effect on people but i think this video needed to be made i've been i've been debating it for so long now i'm so sick of her thinking she has the right to comment on my medication, which she doesn't. Whether or not I take benzodiazepines is between me and my doctor. Yes, I talk about the benefits of it on my channel. I don't have negative side effects with them. That's what my point is. I, They respond very well to me and they help me manage my mood. They help me when I have flashbacks, which, you know what, for someone like you who says that, oh yeah, I have BPD, I thought you'd be more understanding to that. As someone with mental health issues yourself, maybe everyone else that has mental health issues you stephanie do not have a right to tell other people how they should or should not take their medications or how they should act or what they should say or what they should do you should not turn around and say to someone who uses medications that you don't like the fact they use because you can't get it you get given clonazepam because it's an epilepsy drug you said yourself in previous live streams that you had a drug problem why are you comparing me and you because if you've been through that, you know I'm nothing like that. So with that, I am gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do want me to do more little uh, comedy rant things, it's not really comedy, it's kind of my life and it's very unfortunate. We're all here just to have fun and I share my life to have fun. Other things, she's like, well, what? She, it's so stressful. Why does she do it every day? I do YouTube every day because I enjoy it. It's a hobby. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for fame. I do it because I enjoy it. I'm a fucking film student. Of course I like playing with cameras. 
do the logic. If you need to take medication, take it as it is prescribed by a doctor. I don't care what Google says, it's not a doctor. So yeah, bye guys.